Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and in this video, I'm going to show you the results from the first live streams that I ever did. Live stream one, two, and three. So if you missed those, go back and check them out. If you go into the live tab on my channel, you can see all of the live streams that I did. So the next morning after the ice had melted, I flipped it over and there were some saturation issues. These particular colors do not ice dye very well. They have a tendency to just sort of want to vanish. So I'm going to be adding the colors very heavy handed. So we have a couple minutes here while you watch me repeat my dye process. And I just want to tell you guys, I'm having the most fun doing these live videos with Scott. Um, and all of your participation in the chat is awesome. You guys are amazing. Thank you for tuning in. And seriously, if somebody out there feels like they have something to offer and would like to share something that you make that's special to you and you want to get it out there and you can shout out your business, send me a private message over on Facebook and we can talk about doing a live stream together. Um, it would be a ton of fun and Scott wouldn't mind. He could take a week off and I'm sure he would like to watch somebody else as well, you know, share what they've got. So please take it into consideration. I would love to have you. And I did do a shout out of the channel members, um, but I didn't have the complete list. And so I just want to say thank you to everybody that has become a channel member. Your proceeds go back into the channel so that I'm able to continue to do fun stuff and, you know, basically bring content to everybody kind of for free. Uh, the membership does help put money back into the channel, but it helps me get more supplies so I can keep doing it. So I just want to just take a moment here to uh, mention everybody's name. So Crystal, Teresa, Patty, Sherry, Bonnie, Jen, Lazon, Debbie, and I'm not sure if it's Colonel or Colonel, Lynn, Scott, Cindy, Lori, Teresa, and Catherine. You guys, thank you so very much. And also just thank you to all of you that tune in, watch my channel, you click subscribe, you leave a thumbs up, you've turned your bell on and set it to all, that way you don't miss any uh, future content like the live videos and all of that. You guys are all a big support. I consider you my friends. I enjoy tie dyeing with you um, and I'm having a blast. And if you don't know, a lot of you already know, but there is a community group, Belladonna Dyes Community Tie-Dye Group. I recommend that you head over there, join the group. There are a lot of amazing people, and you can really become part of a community. And, you know, we're becoming good friends, and I'm just really enjoying myself. So, again, thank you to everyone. I appreciate you guys so much. I let the project batch for the full 48 hours. I always batch for the full 48 hours. I just feel like it has the best vibrancy. Also, it allows enough time for the Procyon dye and the soda ash to work together. So the soda ash raises the pH up of the shirt to 10.5 to 11. And then the Procyon dye bonds with those natural fibers in the cotton and bond. 
And if you pull it really quick, you end up rinsing a lot of the dye down the drain. Now what I've been doing with my geodes is I'm untying them before I start rinsing them and it makes it a lot easier to untie them because they're kind of dry and they're not as messy. And I have not noticed any issue with dye getting into the sinew lines. So I like to start by using cold water. That's going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric. And then I increase my water up too hot and I rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. And with ice dyeing, it's a pretty quick process because um, the ice you know, flows through, the dye bonds with the shirt, and then the 48 hours, a lot of the dye has bonded. So there isn't a lot of dye going down the drain. I highly recommend that you try to batch for 48 hours if you can. So from here, I take it to the washing machine and I like to do hot water cycles using Kirilon, a professional textile detergent. And then I like to use Milsoft in a final hot water cycle. And Milsoft is a professional fabric softener. Then I'll put the projects into the dryer and then I'll iron them and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Just look at the vibrancy on this shirt. As I mentioned in the beginning, these are shirts that I did on a live stream. And so if you're curious to see how I made them, these two are watercolor scrunches that I did in episode three. So go ahead and check that out if you missed it. Um, and these are the holiday colors that are the special order dyes from Dharma Trading Company that they did in the month of December, 2023. Um, they did not give me a heads up and let me get shirts ready to help promote the colors. And I think they over mixed, so they have a lot of dye left. Right now, if you're watching this on uh, January 16th, 2023, they have some dye left, all of the colors actually, and you can buy eight ounces of it and they're on sale right now for 20% off. And if they do happen to sell out, you can always, always get Dharma special order dyes over in the Facebook group, Tie Dye Supplies Marketplace. And there is a link for it down below in the description box. It will take you right over there. And I'm currently ordering my colors from Kathy Greger. She's great. She's fully stocked up and can hook you up. So here's our first shirt. This is the Geo that I did with the pastel primary colors. Bo picked them out. And I think the shirt turned out super cute. Now I've never made a bright, colorful geode like this before. Um, I think it's super fun and funky. It kind of reminds me like, um, like a circus shirt or something because it's just so bright. Normally when I make them, I make them in like a very similar color palette, like greens or purples or, you know, single color ice dyes. This is just really fun and outrageous.
This next shirt is Firecracker, and it really is a good name for this shirt because it is bright, and it's super duper pretty. It splits down into a really nice sort of like orange sorbet type color. Also, in some areas, it has a really pretty kind of coral pink, and it reminds me so much of my brand new sinew polar. And I love that sinew polar. It is so gorgeous, you guys. Um, if you don't have one already, I highly recommend that you go over to boredomwithjen.com. Check out her stuff. She has amazing colors to choose from. But this dye, it's really... Well, it's a firecracker. It's a nice spicy red. It's really super pretty and I'm happy with the overall results and the outcome of the shirt because I think it just turned out really beautiful. And the last shirt is black, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I am so completely blown away and surprised by the outcome of this shirt because this is not black to me at all. It looks like a beautiful pastel Monet painting of flowers. It's really stunning. And these close-up shots show you like the detail in it. So it has so many colors going on. There's the obvious blue and then like a, a lavender color and I don't know what you would call that brown color, like a mocha maybe, and then some greens and some yellows and it just really split down beautifully. And so the cool thing is, is right now there is that sale going on. So right after you watch this video, I recommend that you go over and take advantage of it because I do think that it will sell out because you can see how gorgeous this splits. I mean, this is all coming from just one die. I'm totally floored, completely blown away by its beauty. Well, now I'm all caught up on the results of the live stream, so thank you so much for tuning in. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing!